Leo. Welcome to Blue Flame Inspiration. My name is Lisa. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I've been on YouTube for quite a while, roughly six years, and um, just wanted to welcome you to my channel uh, for your 2023 overview. Well, Leo. <laughs> Also, if you need a private reading, you need to email me. I will never put anything down in the comments. I will never approach you about one. If you do not hear directly from me, then it's a scam. So watch out for those scammers out there, Leo. Um, I'm a fellow fire sign, such as yourself. I am an Aries. Um, just had a birthday a week ago. If this reading does resonate, uh, Leo, let me know. Let me know. As soon as I sit down, I tap in... I love my fellow fire signs. I love when the sun is in my sign. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't know what it'd be. It'd probably feel pretty doggone good to be born under the sun energy. Just saying. I'm going to try and keep this reading under 25 minutes. I have been double clarifying uh, with two decks. So I'm sorry that I, I kind of, I just like to see if I'm getting repeating numbers or repeating cards, then that energy is high, highly probable, definitely probable. Anyway, I did clear these decks and I've been zoning into your energy. I, you Cancer and Gemini were the ones I had to do left, so, um, Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. When I first tapped into this reading, when I was laying down the cards, I was getting very heavy about um, a nasty landlord or somebody very nasty that you were living with. You thought they were being sneaky. But yeah, I feel like... Um, very sneaky. If you or she didn't own in the past, I didn't get a fly with you. <laughs> Just not. I think that they pretty much were pretty open about it. They thought they were being slick, though, thinking that they were hiding their swords behind this cape. Well, that didn't work. Four of Wands. Yeah. It's supposed to be a solid commitment. One full of passion. This person very well might have been very flexible, like to do yoga, um, love the beach, I'm hearing. You might honestly love the beach too, obviously. Summertime right there in your season, beach season, love it. But someone cut something out back here. Also, I was getting something about a nasty landlord, too. This very well might have been a house that you were staying at. Um, you did the right thing if you left. Ten of coins. I heard you were paying too much for that trash place you were living. Seriously. You were moving up in the world. You walked away from whatever that was. And this landlord was not nice. For whoever you were living with. Very cutting with those words. All right. In your right now position, Leo. Now that Jupiter was conjunct the sun and Aries, you, you will be feeling this same as Sagittarius. There's a lot of fire energy that's mixing in with all of this. Um, I see that you're getting gaining balance back. You guys are real good at being patient. Saturn came in and freaking throttled you guys too, huh? Having that opposition to your sign. And then the nodes being in... Yeah, you guys were getting squared and, and opposed to... Aries was dealing with it for a long time. We're still dealing with it. We've been dealing with it since 2010. So, like, yeah. I know you guys are going to be getting Pluto soon. <laughs> Opposing you. But at least, hey, at least you don't got the nodes anymore to, be, to contend with. You do have Uranus, though. Let me get off of that. That's just some of the astrology, Leo. 
Yeah, I think where you're moving to is going to help you save money in here. I get Ten of Cups, so there's a happy home here. I also get Cancer and Sagittarius energy. Could be Pisces, but there's somebody I feel that you're settling in with. And they have Sag and Pisces in their chart. Very well could be your kids, too. I don't know. I do see Two of Cups here coming in. And some Gemini energy with manifesting a new beginning with, in a, with somebody. Two of Cups is... If that's what you're looking for. There's a new beginning here. Very well could be with a Gemini. You might, like I said, you, Leo, you might be fancying um, a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Possibly Pisces. And or they have that in their chart. Yeah, because your incoming energy here, if you were doing... Um, a lot of meditation and prayers, you're going to see uh, the manifestation of that. The alchemist here. You manifested a soulmate coming in. Mm hmm. You did. Or a new connection. Very passionate and fiery. But grounded as well. King of Pentacles. Very well could be a new job, too. Something that you're going to love. And you could be yourself at. Mm hmm. You'll be sitting pretty once again. Am I. Someone might be taking a pay cut, though. Um, maybe you're retired. Maybe someone are retired. I don't know, Leah. Might be really just you focus on your foundation. I do know that. But whatever heavy manifesting you were doing back here, where you're like, I don't want to deal with this fucking air energy no more. Yeah, you're manifesting another air sign, possibly. But I also see some fire and water here. King of Cups. <laughs> yeah. Actually, let me tell you something. You walking away, whatever, walking away from whatever was, um, very well could have been a job. It's the best thing you could have done for yourself, I'm hearing. Four of Wands. What was this stable? Five of Swords. Yeah, there was an asshole air sign back here. Three of Cups. Yeah, they, that situation ended, Leo. You accepted it. <laughs> Might have had Earth and or Scorpio in their big three. Excuse me. Water. Scorpio was definitely in their big three. Leo? Five of Swords with the Three of Cups? Yeah. <laughs> wow, what an empty victory that was. Well, you caught him anyway. Page of Wands. Leo, did you get childish with it? Did you get petty with it? <laughs> you got petty with it. Look at you. This is, I, I really feel like this just became a, a will of the egos. <laughs> I could just go just as low as you, says Leo. Leo? All right, Seven of Swords. I mean, it was so obvious. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. Six, you go like, yeah, Blue, but I was victorious when I did it. <laughs> Leo energy. Look, look at this card, guys. Like, victory. Look at you. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you, you really verbalized something to somebody. And or your lack of good luck. I'm here. Queen of Swords. Six of Cups in your verse. You're like, there was a person tried to use nostalgia back there, too. Being like, we're soulmates. And I have faith that you're going to come back. <laughs> yeah, not after you caught that. <laughs> no. You're balancing out now. Like I said, you're manifesting something new. Congratulations. This very well could have been something you've been waiting on, too. This might have been the past ending. Page of Cups. You got petty with it. <laughs> All right. The water sign. Pages. Yeah, you got petty with it. 
Why is temperance here with the ten of cups and the you guys crack me up, man. Strength. <laughs> Look at you showing up in your own reading. I have a tiger it's the <laughs> really like I'm feeling good like that's that's your energy right now Ooh. Mm -hmm. like I am that bitch or I am that dude mm -hmm. you did walk away from a past commitment yes you did wasn't paying the bills. I'm here. Okay. Ten of Cups. Enough of that nostalgia, too. It's a, it's got petty with it. Lover's Connection. Oh, look at that. Gemini energy here. Hermit in Reverse. High Priestess. There's no new beginning with that. You know your, what your intuition was telling you about this person. You, you might be like um, a psychoanalyst too like you do study the um, you're in the, the esoteric but you also study um, human nature and behaviors you study that shit don't you You very, that very well could be your job yep. you get to use your intuition however people in the 3D don't know <laughs> You're doing this stuff behind the scenes. <laughs> they don't know it. You're not giving somebody a new start, though. I do see that. Especially if um, they called themselves a twin flame. Like that was in the stable. Oh, yeah. Seven of Swords in reverse. They thought they were getting away with it. Okay. The moon. <laughs> yeah. I think this is like um, packing up and leaving in the middle of the night. Just here, here one day and gone the next. I'm hearing. Knight of Coins in the reverse. Devil in reverse. You realize how toxic that shit was. Like I said, you guys are actually manifesting a lover's connection. Now that you balanced out this old energy, dude. <laughs> Just don't be too petty with it. Even if it was past life stuff like that you cut off, like, yeah, you were victorious. Congratulations. You called the fuck shit for what it was. And you did gain your strength and you did heal a lot. And I really feel like I said, you've been psychoanalyzing people. Um, Ten of Cups with the Lover's Card here. One day and gone the next. And no more do overs, I'm hearing. Congratulations on that, too. Especially if it's toxic energy. Yeah, you're not interested. Four of Wands. Four of Wands was the first card that came out. You're not interested in a toxic home environment. All right. The Magician. The Magician. Yeah, if you were dealing with the Scorpio, they very well could have had mental issues. Two of Coins. Palace of Coins. You're like, I'm only building a firm foundation. Three coins in the reverse. Whatever that was back there, yeah, you you ended it. Um, you're also manifesting two new beginnings. A new beginning, um, two that are stable. Um, you might not have accounted for this, Leo, but there's another person coming in. You manifested a possible earth sign. Obviously, King of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they might be... Um, You're going to have to turn one down there. Don't be playing both sides. This situation, I see you dead and gone. Like, this is something where you left the, you didn't even, I don't even think you left the dear fucking John letter. You just grabbed your shit never to return. Right. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Hangman in reverse. Excuse me. I usually take these all in the upright. I wonder why I'm taking them in reverse. Emperor in reverse. Someone was a fake ass divine masculine or divine feminine. I could tell you that. Um, oh. Make sure you're using your intuition. Make sure you're tapping in the spirit. Hangman is gaining a new perspective. 
um, you might be going forth with that new perspective. Um, still be using your intuition. The Knight of Coins with the Moon. Um, yeah, there's something steady. Like, this is like leaving in the middle of the night to go slowly towards something. This very well could have taken a while to get. You didn't tell nobody, though. That's the fucked up part. Just grab your shit and out. <laughs> Not even an apology. Nope. 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 <laughs> I heard what they did. They don't deserve one. Oh. Okay. 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 Seven of Swords. What's this victory? I don't even need to. I already can see. And I do believe that, honestly, this was definitely, this is Scorpio card. Um, <laughs> this thing got cut out. Like, you didn't give a shit if somebody said, you're my twin flame, you're my soul. You know, you didn't care. Because I really feel like you're like, if that's how you work, then there's no reason why you should have done all the bullshit you put me through. Ten of Cups, Lover's Card. I'm looking for a real person. Two of Cups. Palace of Coins, who's stable and sturdy and can offer um, me something solid. King of Pentacles. Um, little did you realize you're going to... Oh, an Ace of Pentacles. Something solid. Star. Who's healed, too. I'm here. <laughs> well, you put your order in, Emperor. Look at you. I'm here and Saturn knows me. Strength. Yes. Okay. Okay. Five of swords here. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Three of pentacles. You're like, I mean, my mind blew and I sneak it away in the middle of the night. Yeah. Well, knight of coins, five of swords. The moon. Yeah, you're not even cold with it, Leo. I am my own mother. <laughs> Ten of cups. I fill my own cups and victory victorious in myself. Like I said, you're not even giving this fucking person an explanation. <laughs> you see, you're manifesting something new, something solid, stand, something stable, and you are. <laughs> There's your confirmation. You didn't give this person nothing. <laughs> not even so much as a dear, dear John text letter, nothing. <laughs> Emperor. <laughs> Like, the emperor doesn't have to. People should just bow. <laughs> bow to the king. You can't be sad about that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you completely retracted your offer. Death. You saw someone was a real asshole. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Knight of Wands, if you were dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah. The Sagittarius is very unawakened. Magician in reverse, and that. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Heart of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, everything is in reverse here. This person um, is very. 3D minded and is very sexually driven. Um, I'm hearing that's why I took away the one thing that they wanted. Seeing how long they'd stick around. And then I, I, I still feel like they kind of did stick around. I do. And then you realize how broke they were, how emotionally unavailable they were, how they didn't use their intuition. They, spiritual things just go right over their head. They're like, there's got to be something better than this. Put the feelings out there to the universe. Mm -hmm. They're dead in something. There's a connection that's completely gone and broken. All right. Why is it magic? What's this? What's these? Just two choices that you're gonna have to make. I want oh my! If you were dealing with a, a fellow fire sign, somebody's just looking to be um, single. 
this is very well could be you um, leaving this situation back there and just bolting. Very erratic energy. You weren't telling this person shit. You just left. Yeah, well, it's how he's going to be victorious. Not saying a word. And I feel like um, this person, if somebody got the price of intimacy. I think after you caught something. They were so sloppy with it anyway. Um, two of pen What is this? Um, yeah, the, this whatever you're manifesting. And like I said, it very well could be Gemini with Sagittarius on that axis. Um, but there's Sagittarius here. Just I, yeah, I'm feeling you want to put it down with the Sag. Oh yeah, you do. Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. There's an, there's something solid coming in that you know isn't that heartbreaking. Um, this is fresh energy, I'm hearing. Somebody who's never done bullshit to you. Um, you just turned the tables on this person. Ace of Wands, Hangman, Reverse. <laughs> like, this is a no-brainer, boo. I've already healed and gained my strength back after being sucked dry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're moving to a completely different area. This is a no-brainer. Your, your ships are here, I'm hearing. But it's going to require movement. You know this. I ain't telling you nothing you don't know. You very well could be um, getting a brand new place of employment, too. Something you're going to love. Get and get word of that. And or you already did. This is coming in like immediately. This is what you're manifesting. You might be just wanting to keep it single and but I, I do see something, a soulmate connection emerging with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Something solid. Don't don't blow it. If it is a good person. Taurus is here. Very well could be a, a divine masculine. You might have found your twin. Your real one. <laughs> Leo. Anyway, I'm out. I'm off here. I love you, and um, if you need a private reading, you can email me at beautifulmindful275 at gmail.com. Um, yeah, don't get scammed, okay? Y'all take care, be blessed, and I'll see you next month. If this is kind of the energy you're going to see play out. I really believe, especially starting, well, Gemini season. This might be what you're manifesting now. You're still closing that out. Yeah, you're gaining your strength. I think you're recognizing this person and that's who you're manifesting. Gemini season. Love you. Bye.